For number three, they're going to give you two points, and you want to find the equation of a line that passes through these two points, then you want to graph it. Now the first thing we have to do if we want to find a, a line is we need to know the slope. So if they give you two points, you need to know, use a formula to find the slope that passes through two points. So this, the uh, formula, this is your slope formula, it's this one, x2 minus x1, or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So the y always goes on top. Now the x1 and the y1, we're just going to label our point. I can put x1, y1 here, x2, y2 right there. So we're going to label these and then we're going to plug the information into the formula. So on top we have y2 minus y1, negative 7 minus negative 4. So be careful when you're plugging the numbers in, make sure you, put, you pick the correct one. Common mistake I see is people accidentally put the x1 in there in the wrong spot, so be careful. It's just the y values we're using. On the bottom we have x2 minus x1, so we're going to do negative 3, negative 3 minus 3 halves. So now we have it set up properly, we want to find, uh, simplify this and find the slope. We have negative 7 minus a negative 4, so it's negative 7 plus 4, that's going to give you a negative 3. On the bottom, we have to subtract these with a common denominator. So, uh, negative 3 will multiply by 2 over 2, so you'll get negative 6 over 2 minus 3 over 2, it's going to give you negative 9 over 2. Then we're going to flip and multiply, negatives are going to cancel out, and we'll get 3 over 1, and you're going to multiply that by the reciprocal, so we're going to multiply this by uh, 2 over 9, and then what happens here is we can reduce the 3 right there, and we get 2 thirds. So 2 thirds is going to be the slope. Now you don't want to just put this as your answer because it's asking you to find the equation of a line. So once we find the slope, this is the second thing you want to do. You want to use this formula, which is a point slope formula. The m is going to be our 2 thirds. Now x1 and y1, you don't have to use the first point that we labeled there. You could also use the second one as well. It doesn't matter which one you use. It's still going to get you the same result. To avoid using fractions, I'm actually going to use the second one instead, and you should get exactly the same answer as if you tried it out with the 3 halves. So let's put in negative 3 and negative 7. So once again on this, make sure you plug in the correct numbers. So for this one here, we got to put in y1, y, y1, uh, we're actually using this point instead. So we're going to say that for this equation, negative 3 is our x1 and negative 7 is our y1. So we're going to put negative 7 in here. We have the two-thirds, that's our slope, x minus x1, x minus negative 3. So it's going to look like that. We need to solve this for y because the instructions say to write the equation in slope-intercept form. This is not in slope-intercept form. We want to simplify it. We get y plus 7 equals two-thirds x plus 3 when we simplify that. We're going to multiply the two-thirds into the parentheses, so we get y plus 7 is going to equal 2 thirds x plus 2, because 2 thirds times 3, the 3's will cancel out and you get a 2 left there. And then we're, finally we're just going to subtract 7 from both sides and we get y is equal to 2 thirds x and we get minus 5. So that's going to be the equation, that's, the, that's what you put at the bottom blank down there where it says equation. Next thing we have to do is we're going to graph our answer. Okay, so we're going to erase this here to give us some space and then we're going to uh, graph it. Okay, so this right, right here, that's the one that we want to graph. Uh, so what we do with that is we're going to start with the y-intercept, negative 5. That's going to be right here. Then we're going to use our slope in order to get the next point that's on that line. So from negative 5, what we're going to do is we're going to go up 2 and then we're going to go 3 to the right. Top number is your up and down movement, the bottom number is your left and right movement. If it's positive we go up, the bottom number is positive we go to the right. So that's going to give us our next point right there. All we need is two points to draw on a line, so once we have those two points, we'll just connect them and so that would be your graph.